right, we need to queue a bit. Come on. Come on, let's go. It's only a bit of fish and pork. What's up with you? Welcome to another video. I don't know if you've noticed my uh, my subtle kimono, but that's sort of in theme with today's video. We're doing another eating one. Sick bucket. We love it. And it's going to be needed, I assure you. Now, half the things here, I don't know how to cook or store or eat. So we're just going to whack it all in oven and scram the lot. But first, let's just show you what's on the menu. Went down to the Oriental Supermarket in Leeds, one of the scariest experiences of my life, and I didn't understand the thing I was reading, so let's see what we've ended up with. Okay, so we've got sour mustard green in brine. I had no idea what it were, and I think my face sums it up there. I mean, what the fuck is that? Dried bean curd, hot chilli flavour, looks like little pieces of shit. Preserved duck egg, yes, that is the inside of them. Crab balls, love a bit of fish. Fish and pork balls. Now I know what you're thinking. The last time I had a pork nugget, it went swell. <coughs> okay, I think that was the pork and egg. What are the... <coughs> no, I found them. So, this is the pork and egg. I don't know if I can try that. Come on! Come on! But it's going to be different this time. So the fish and pork balls are frozen, so if I bob them in now, they'll be ready just in time. <laughs> no English cooking instructions, so... However, one thing that is ready to go, straight off the bat, is the bean curd. My glasses are in here. Bloody hell. Alrighty. Alright, we'll do a little quick sniff test first. I don't know if that's probably wise, but... is really pungent okay so there we have it bottoms up Try it again, because I don't know whether it's the look that's actually off-putting, or it's the, you know, taste itself, so. The consistency is awful. <laughs> I think we're done with them. Oh, God. You think it's going to be chewy, but then it's sort of mushy inside. Which is a delightful treat. 10 out of 10. That bean curd went down a treat, but it's still in my mouth. It's quite spicy, unsuspectedly. So I'm going to wash it down with a traditional lemon tea drink. Oh, yeah, we can have that. How do you like your heads in the morning? I like mine fermented and preserved. And from a duck. Do we know if we should cook these? I'm going to just check. Lucky me. Turns out you don't have to cook them. Even more of an efficient snack then. Um, so you can just roll out of bed, crack one of these open and get it scrammed. The smell is going to be grim here, isn't it? So here we have it. 
Ah, relatively large, to be honest. Um, let's crack it over the sick bucket. I've got a feeling that's a good idea. That is, I can't even look at it while I'm taking the shell off. So that's what I've done so far. That's inside the egg, all right? And as you can imagine, it smells great. I just need a minute. Oh. There we are. I can see through it. So ready to go. You know, you wake up, you're late for work. No need to wait for a hard boiled. Let's get this scrammed. So I'm just going to take the big bite off the top. Um, <laughs> that's just the smell. Get me lemon tea at the ready. I'd just like to take this moment to remind you to subscribe because this is ridiculous. Here we go. Fucking hell, that were nice. Let's have another bit. <coughs> what sort of sick bastard sells that? So, all in all, 10 out of 10. I'll wash it down with my lemon tea. And then we're good to go again. We've had a hearty breakfast so far, but it's time for the third course. Ding! Is that me fish and pork balls? Alrighty. So these. Oh, I can't wait. These are the fish and pork balls. So as you can see, there's like a brown tinge. Fucking hell. <coughs> Sorry, that's just the smell. Um, I've gotten paler since we started this. I don't know if anyone's noticed. Um, right, without further ado, they're actually quite spongy. I don't know if you can see that. But, but the smell is horrific. I'll be honest. Sorry. Sorry about that. Wow, they're really hot. Best be careful, don't want to burn myself. Blech. Sorry, it's all I can smell. Blech. Okay, let's have a bite. Blech. I didn't even get any. They're really tough. Try again for the bit I've already ch ch chiseled away at. Oh. <coughs> Alright, we need to chew a bit. Come on! Come on! Let's go! It's only a bit of fish and pork. What's up with you? <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that's rough. Let me just show you.
Let me just tell you what happened briefly. So I put it in my mouth. When I pulled, it ripped open. And I got like a mouthful of pork juice. Um, all in all, 10 out of 10. I want to say I've never thrown up that much over one of these before. That was intense. I mean, I might have to empty my sick bucket. It's getting that full. I've actually dropped it in the sick by accident during all that as well. And it seems to be absorbing it. It's uh, It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. I need to really chew one, don't I? So... Let's try. I think they've cooled down a bit. Yeah. <coughs> Fish and pork. What I will say about them is that there has been times where I've thought, should I have fish tonight or pork? Um, so the solution has been answered, guys. Just pick up a fresh lot of fish and pork balls. Now, what does anyone want after a bit of fish and pork? bit of crab all right these are quite springy as well yeah you see that who cares it's a bit of crab it's a bit of crab oh oh lovely bit of crab and the juice went on it. <coughs> Lovely bit of crab. <coughs> that were a lovely bit of crab. Ten out of ten. Now the next one, oh, I'm gonna have to. The smell in here is rancid. Right. Now, this is the debate with this one. Do we cook sour mustard green in brine? Do we eat it out of the brine? What is it? These are the big questions that we're asking. I guess I'll just get a tin opener and a fork then and see what's in here. A lot of air coming out of that can. What the hell is this shit? I'll show you. Oh, that looks raw. Let me just empty a bit of brine. Oh, I don't know. Is it onion or maybe cabbage or something? Smells great. Smells absolutely fantastic. Some sour mustard green. Let's see what's cracking. Really help if I knew what it was. <coughs> Break down, yeah. Don't do a bit of mustard green, did it? Uh, I tell you what, these pork and fish balls have got massive in this sick. I wonder if it's for soups and that sort of thing. If I could fucking read the instructions, it might help. Oh, So, there you have it. The best of oriental cuisine right there. There's sick on the floor. There's fermented egg on the floor. There's a... An egg, there's a fish and fucking pork ball rolling about down there. So I'll go clean that up. But to finish off, I've got some dessert. I'm hoping this is all right. Um, traditional banana cake. And it's like rhubarb and custards. Fuck's sake. I'm going to use the uh, fork I did for the mustard green, but we need to wipe it. It's just a traditional banana cake. Why is it green? Psh, fuck knows. This ain't cake. This ain't fucking cake. What is going on? Fucking hell, I'm fighting with it. What's that? Come on, can you see that? Ugh. 
I don't know if it's edible. Right, let's have a go. Ah! What the fucking hell is wrong with you people?